Greetings and welcome once again to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. So I'm going to be uh, talking about a completely different topic before I resume with uh, Book 7 of the Elements. <clears throat> and I am planning to do critiques of other people's videos. So the first critique I'm going to be doing is a video on the Epsilon Limit definition. Uh, the one I love to reveal and poke fun at the most because it's such a lot of garbage. So let's begin. Now, there's a, a channel where this young man here has a lot of subscribers and he's just released a, a video about five days ago or six days ago. I can't, I'm not so sure when. Uh, and uh, and it's about the hardest limit in Calculus 1. Now, first of all, that's it's, it's not true. It's not the hardest limit. And, uh, <laughs> you know, mainstream math academics are such morons that I, I, I can't help but laugh at this, their stupidity. For, well, first of all, it, this is a very simple limit, and there's really nothing to it. But I'm not going to uh, bother too much about that. I'm going to come back to this guy here and show you that everything he's teaching you here is just a load of garbage, which could be completely avoided if mainstream academics who are too thick-skulled and too, uh, too arrogant to listen to what I have to tell them, because I do know better. And many, many years ago, I created or I discovered a new limit theorem with their bullshit epsilon deltas, okay? And I, I give a proof of it in this document to which I'll place a link. And uh, I'm going to show you how it works. So with the same function he's using over here, this two x root of 2x plus 1, I'm going to show you that you only need to prove this limit, this theorem once, and it works for any function. So what it says basically is that if epsilon is greater than this distance and zero is less than this distance then L is the limit provided the area of this circle uh, reduces to zero as X approaches C okay so I actually do prove that in this document over here okay in this document here I prove it and you can look over the proof and see that that's the case but let's get back to this and I'll show you now so this is uh, this point here is where the limit is supposed to be at x equals 4, okay? And this here is the function of 2x, uh, root of 2x plus 1. So as, the, as, we, as we approach the, the point from either side, the area of this circle will diminish, okay? As we move away, the area gets very big. And it doesn't matter what side you are. As you move away, the area will always expand. But when you hit that point, <laughs> that's... That's what it, it means. That's when you have that limit, okay? That's when you actually have uh, the result that you need, okay? So you can use any, you can use uh, any particular function you like and place it in this input bar down here, okay? So it doesn't matter which function you use. You could say f of x is equal to... Uh, let's say sine of x okay like that and same story here i mean you can position this any way you want okay position c let's say at zero like that and then of course the further away you move the bigger the circle is but the closer you get to sine zero like that right see what happens then the limit is zero because sine of zero is zero all right and now the nice thing about this theorem is that it not only shows you how to how, how you can use any function and you prove it once and it works for every function and it's true simply by virtue of the fact that it's based on this particular proof, okay? So the proof, the significance of this theorem is that it only needs to be proved once and is valid for every epsilon delta proof. 
So the proof is easy. If you look at it in this form, and I'll place a link in the detail section. I don't want to spend much time on this garbage. And then I also introduced another very powerful way of uh, getting the exact number. So this this little boy here thinks it's epsilon over delta, uh, epsilon over two. You can just choose delta. But I've shown you a way to choose uh, to choose uh, delta exactly. I mean, to, a, a very precise way of doing it. And this is a new article to also which I'll place a link. And uh, most of you think that uh, you can only express epsilon in terms of delta or delta in terms of epsilon. That's wrong. They're both expressible in terms of each other. And I've given you a lot of uh, examples in here, about six of them, from very simple to very complex. So, for example, I've even done something similar to what he's had here and, and something a lot more complex, uh, like what you see down here, okay? So, um, you'll see that you can express delta and epsilon in terms of each other. And you can study that. It's, uh, it's very, very, very uh, difficult material, uh, which if you love mental masturbation, then it's for you. If you don't, then it's not. Okay, so without spending too much time, uh, you don't want to be wasting your time learning this garbage because it's totally irrelevant, and it, especially to, uh, with respect to the derivative and the integral. You don't need to know any of this stuff because uh, my new geometric theorem works without limits or uh, any of this garbage. So, and it's very simple, and it's the same formula that one uses to define the definite integral. So, I'll place links to those, and I also want to encourage you to visit a new channel. Okay, a new math channel. It's called. Uh, uh, I think it's uh, Mackie Fry Guinness, and I'll place a link to that new math channel also in the details section. So that's pretty much it. I'll try to critique some other videos as well. Don't waste your time on this rot. It's, it's going to get you nowhere. It's meaningless nonsense. Um, it doesn't prove anything at all. And, of course, the definition here is very flawed because uh, in order to know L, <laughs> You have to use it in its very own definition, okay? So that's one of the big problems. The other, the other problem is that there's no such thing as a real number. Real numbers are mythological mathematical objects. There is no valid construction of real number. I've written many articles, so I'm going to stop right there. This is a new calculus channel. I'm John Gabriel. Till next time, goodbye.